Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to our English Story Share podcast. On today's show, we have a topic that's near and dear to our hearts. Family is what truly matters. But before we begin, I want to remind you of the importance of actively listening to English communication every day, whether it's through podcasts like ours, movies, songs, or even casual conversations with friends. Every opportunity to engage with the language brings you one step closer to fluency. So, as you listen to today's episode, pay attention to the nuances of the English language, the rhythm of speech, and the emotions behind the words. Now, let's dive into our English conversation of the day. Family. What does family mean to you? How has your family shaped the person you are today? Share your fondest family memory or a lesson you've learned from your loved oneies in the comments section below. Let's get started. Hey, dude, I've heard it's all changed for you. Yes, absolutely. I've got big plans in the pipeline. I don't know if it's entirely the right decision, but I do know I can't carry on in this job. I feel like it's dragging me into the ground. I know that feeling. When I was at university, the idea of being high up in a company such as this sounded powerful and appealing. But now I'm here. All I want is for it all to stop. It's affecting my marriage. And I hardly see my children. I can't remember the last time I was home early enough to put them to bed. That's tough. I think it's great you've evaluated everything and are willing to make changes. What are you going to do differently in your new job? I want to have more flexibility and control over my schedule. I want to be able to attend my children's school events and have dinner with my family every night. That sounds like a great plan. What other activities are you planning to do with your family? I want to take them on more vacations and spend quality time with them on the weekends. I also want to start a family game night every week to build a strong bond with them. Those are great ideas. It's important to make time for your family and build those memories together. Definitely. I've realized that work is not everything. And my family is what truly matters. I couldn't agree more. You won't regret this decision. So, when do you finish here? We need to send you off in style. I've still got to work my notice until the end of the month. So, we've got time to organize something yet. Great. Leave it to me. Hey, how are you feeling? I heard you've been really sick. Oh, yeah. It's been brutal. I've got the flu, and it feels like my body's been hit by a bus. That sounds terrible. What are your symptoms? Well, I've got a fever, chills, body aches, a headache, and a cough that won't quit. <coughs> oh, and let's not forget the sneezing and runny nose. Hot to! Wow, that's a lot. Have you seen a doctor? Yeah, I have. They gave me some medication, but it's going to take some time to recover fully. You almost never get sick. What's your secret? I try to boost my immunity naturally by eating the right foods and living a healthy lifestyle. What are the best foods for boosting immunity? Foods high in vitamin C, like oranges and kiwis, and foods high in zinc, like spinach and beans, are great for boosting immunity. What about supplements? Supplements like vitamin D and probiotics can also help strengthen your immune system. What lifestyle changes can I make to be more healthy? Getting enough sleep, 
managing stress, and exercising regularly can help boost immunity. Thanks for the advice. I appreciate all the tips. You're welcome. I hope you get better soon. Hi, Mom. Hey, David. How's your new apartment? Are you enjoying it so far? Yeah, I love it. It's small, but cozy. The kitchen is nice, and the appliances are pretty new. That's great to hear. What about the area? Is it safe? It's a safe area. And I have friendly neighbors. They're quiet. And I haven't had any issues so far. That's good. What about restaurants or cafes nearby? Where do you eat? There's a great cafe down the street that I go to for breakfast. And there's a restaurant nearby that I like for dinner. Sounds nice. What about your spare time? What do you do for fun? I usually go for a run in the park nearby. Or meet up with friends at the bar down the street. There's always something to do. That's great. You've already made new friends, huh? Yeah. I've met a few people at the bar and the cafe. They're all really cool, and we've hung out a few times. That's wonderful. I'm so happy you're enjoying your new place and making new friends. Thanks, Mom. I'm really happy here. As we come to the end of today's episode, I want to extend my heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you for joining us on this great episode. Before we say goodbye, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment sharing your thoughts, experiences, and suggestions for future topics. Your feedback fuels our passion to keep bringing you engaging content that enhances your English learning journey. Until next time, keep practicing, keep learning, and remember, family is what truly matters. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.